afternoon, everyone. I'm going to talk about the Word of God. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. It's the word of God that illuminates and makes the pathway visible in your life. Are you willing to take the word and eat it and apply it into your life? Because if when you do that, you develop a style that a lifestyle that God is pleased with. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. You want to live a holy life and a sanctified life? Then you need to take the word of God and apply it into your heart. Very, very important. Without Holiness, it is impossible. God says, be ye holy as I am holy. And so the way we're holy is by abiding and applying the word of God. And I live my life that way. I put my full trust in, in inerrant. The word of God is inerrant, clear and perfect without any blemish and any error. And so I know that in my heart, I can hide his word and be, be free from all the bondage, from the, from the things of this world. I'm free. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of asunder of, of, of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. We think we can play games and we can, we can sneak on by and God's not, not, not really watching us or paying attention. But when you hide his word in your heart, we know we have conviction from the Holy Spirit and we know that we can't play games and can, connive and, and hide. And, and, and the word of God is true. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, and for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So today, those that are wishy-washy, that are just pew-sitting believers, that think that they have an option, oh, no, I don't. The word of God is great. I, I, I like to hear it. And it's just itching ears. They have itching ears. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to apply the truth. It's time, believers, to, to put the word of God and apply it in your life. And here I'll close with this one more verse in Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. And it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. God's word will never return void. He said it, and we need to believe it, and walk in it, and trust it, and do it. Because he's going to accomplish his word, whether it's through us or through somebody else. And I want to be in on that. Do you want to be in on that today? Amen. To have God's word alive and active in your life? I do. Amen. And hopefully you do too. Amen. Amen.